So I thought I'd do a quick review of The Sound of Freedom as I went to see the movie last night. I've been looking at how to uh, watch it because uh, I was a bit cynical about it, but I always like to watch these things for myself and try and keep an open mind. And uh, before I kind of come to any kind of conclusion or judgment. So uh, I noticed that it was on locally in a kind of small little uh, boutique cinema, shall we say. And uh, so I went along and it was quite interesting because there were other members of the uh, local freedom movement there. And uh, this was quite sweet. It was almost like a, a little gathering, a little community gathering. And uh, wow, I have to say, it's an extremely powerful movie and it's well worth going to see. Um, it is harrowing and it is, I found it quite triggering and I think anyone who's had any kind of, who's experienced any kind of abuse uh, cannot help to um, feel a little bit triggered by, by it and it's obviously very clearly uh, working into a, a persecutor victim rescuer dynamic. Nonetheless, um, I have to say, I felt it was a very powerful movie and I felt that it was, was created with integrity from a place of compassion. I don't feel it was, uh, it didn't seem to me, I didn't feel that dissonance of it being some kind of fake or manipulation or some kind of justification for kids being chipped or anything like that. Because of course, you know, if, if kids were chipped, all that the, those, those bad guys would do is just cut the chip out, to be quite honest. There was a, there was a slightly little kind of funny bit where, at the end, where they are posing as uh, medics. And I'll, I'll leave you to watch the movie. I don't want to do a spoiler alert on it. There was a bit of a kind of rankly bit of like, hmm, hmm. Personally, I, I don't feel it's necessary to 100% agree with something and all of the detail to nonetheless feel that on the whole that it was uh, made from a good place. And so I'd really encourage you to go along and see it. I think it is showing in lots of places now. And uh, I know it was initially only released in, in America and it had huge audiences and it has had a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, publicity. So um, I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to do a spoiler, but I would say go and see Sound of Freedom, make up your own mind. Um, but it's clear to me on so many levels that uh, there is a lot of Wetiko in the world. Um, but as always, my uh, knowing, not even feeling, my knowing is that the way to dispel Wetiko is actually through uh, bringing in the love, bringing in the light, bringing in the humanity, coming back to the heart and soul. That is the absolute remedy. We're not going to fight the world right. And the more we shine a light uh, into the labyrinth, into the false matrix, the more we shine that light of love and compassion and humanity, the less places the Wetiko has to hide, it has to show its face. And when it comes out of the shadows into the light, that's when it loses all its power. So uh, keep feeding the love and light people. And uh, if we do that, then the Wetiko is ultimately gonna turn to dust. Sending you lots of love. Bye for now.